Betty and Joyce O'Shields formed Alexander O'Shields and Collins Marketing Research in 1992 after Mary Jo Alexander retired. They simplified the name to AOC to sound less like a law firm and more like a data collection company. At that time, AOC had two mall locations where they intercepted shoppers to participate in research studies. Their primary location at Tyvola Mall and a small operation in Monroe. Soon after Betty joined, they closed the Monroe operation and continued their mall intercepts at Tyvola, conducting taste tests there and at St. Anne's Catholic Church and other locations. In 1993, they opened another location at the Galleria Mall in Rock Hill. In 1995, they found the perfect spot for a focus group and taste test facility on Park Cedar Drive and closed the Tyvola Mall facility. Five years later, they launched their first website. In 2001, they closed their Rock Hill Mall facility so they could focus solely on managing Park Cedar. Projects included taste tests, evaluating commercials, and eye tracking studies, an innovative research method at that time. When Joyce passed away in 2006, Betty became the sole owner of the business. During this time, Betty's family expanded as well. She had three more grandchildren, Amanda, another granddaughter, Ellie, and grandson, Joe. She also gained a son-in-law. Her husband Don retired from Campbell's Soup Company, but she continued her role as corporate wife, traveling with Don to Campbell retiree events. In 2007, Betty's daughter Kathleen joined AOC. The following year, they replaced the teal decor with beige and red. And rebranded the logo and website soon after. In 2011, they expanded AOC's single room facility into two suites with a large test kitchen to accommodate their growing staff. They added a 14 station call center and large admin center. Their reputation grew along with their sales. And in 2014, they added two more suites and an expansive reception, increasing their space to over 11,000 square feet. The exterior signage stripes now stretch halfway down the office park. During this time, the staff promoted the facility at market research conferences and other events in the Charlotte area, increasing their clientele and their respondent database to over 70,000 records.
In addition to assisting with interesting projects and making lifelong friends, a perk of being an AOC employee is sometimes receiving leftover products, supplies, and even kitchen appliances and vacuum cleaners after studies are completed. Another perk is the frequent employee celebrations, which Betty started during her consumer pulse days and brought to AOC. Whether it was the group eating lunch together, celebrating birthdays, a wedding, employees leaving, or holidays, Betty always encouraged parties.
The key to AOC's success is the family atmosphere that Betty cultivated from the beginning. Not only did her grandchildren work at various times for the company, but most of the staff's children worked there, gaining experience and building their resumes. Supported by the foundation of Betty's leadership, AOC continues to implement many successful projects from focus groups, taste tests, product testing, mock juries, and more. Client reviews echo consistent themes of AOC being their favorite facility. The staff is friendly and knowledgeable, recruits are quality participants, and all details are handled with care. Betty's long career with AOC has left an indelible mark for her family, employees, and clients, and her legacy of leadership and kindness will continue to inspire us.